Kuhneman joining you today here at God on a New Level, right from our headquarters here in Omaha, Nebraska, at Lord of Hosts Church and One Voice Ministries. We have come together for another special ministry moment to share with you, and we're expecting God to do some incredible things today in your life. We are here because we want to see you get fed with the anointing of God to receive an impartation today. And Hank, we're going to be talking about healing. No, divine healing. There's a lot of sick people yes, in the world is. today, and I think we need the subject of healing more than we've ever needed it before. And, uh, you know, let's get into the scripture a little bit today. But I agree. Um, One of the things with divine healing, as you're going to your scripture, you know, people always argue, you know, well, this healing, you know, is it for today and, 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 and all of that. But one of the things that I love is God's promise to his covenant people always was that he would take sickness and disease away. And I want you to know that if you have sickness in your body, God is prepared and willing and able to take it away from you. Let's go ahead and get well, into the scripture. Well, you know, a here bit. I was just thinking today in Matthew, this is one of my favorite scriptures on divine healing. In the book of Matthew, you know, one of the ways I get strong when it comes to divine health is I always like to look at the ministry of Jesus. And this is the story, and many of you are familiar with it, when the centurion came to him and he said, My servant is home sick. And Jesus, now, of course, just what you said, mm -hmm. he was willing to come right away Amen. and heal him. He wanted the man to be well. And but the centurion said to him in Matthew chapter 8, uh, verse 8, he said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you would come under my roof, but look at this part. Now, I want to give you this today because you can use this in your own life. He said, Lord, all you have to do is speak the word only. If you'll just speak a word, my servant is going to be healed. Now, you can take that and I can take that and use that in my life and say, Lord, you've spoken the word. You've given us the scripture. You've spoken what the, uh, the Bible has to say. And so now I'm going to speak the word and I'm going to decree healing in my life. You can take the word of God. You can take the scripture. You can uh, decree over whatever area of your body is hurt. If you have a particular disease that maybe the doctor they said it was incurable you can go you can speak to that area and say in Jesus amen. name you know leg be well amen and your leg can be healed just by speaking the word and this is what's so powerful is we have the Bible to speak the word well, in of God. John chapter 4 one of the things that's interesting here is there was a man a nobleman's son that was at the point of death and they came to Jesus and Jesus the Bible says uh, in verse 4 or John 4 verse 50 he said go your your son shall live. And you know what's powerful about that? Jesus spoke the word. And then, you know what happened? The very same thing that's going to happen for you in your life is the healing power of God went into his body. It's going to go into your body. And the healing power is going to cause that sickness to go away. But you know what they said in John 4? They asked the question. They said, at what time did Jesus speak that word? And you know what's amazing? They weren't even in the same location, Brenda. That's true. So Jesus, there's no distance or time in the realm of the Spirit. He spoke that word, and in the Spirit, it went out, and it began to bring about a healing and a cure. And I tell you, it was at that moment that he spoke it, that that healing power went forth. I think we need uh, you to know, pray for I, the people. I think we should pray for people, but, yes. you know, just going along the lines of that, you know, today... Uh, speak to whatever is going on in your body. Speak to it and don't worry about There's You saw with the nobleman's right. son, there was no time. There was no distance in the realm of the spirit. And so whatever uh, situation is present today, you can speak. In fact, they, some of the people watching may even have family members right. that need healing. You can speak to that family member. I had a testimony. I'll share this very quickly. I prayed for a lady years ago in South America and uh, she was coming coming up for healing from AIDS. She had had a blood test on early in the week. She came to the healing meeting later in the week and said, I'm believing for that blood test. And I thought, well, you know, God, uh, but she already had the blood test. How can she get prayer after the blood test? And she said, no, there's no time or distance in the realm of the spirit. If you lay hands on me, I am going to be completely Amen. healed. And when they uh, read her blood, she got a, a uh, the test results came back and she was completely healed and of AIDS. It was actually HIV that she was healed from. And just because she believed there was no time or distance, that if the word was spoken, that she would receive an absolute divine miracle. I think we ought to uh, really, we have some testimonies yeah, we and have some, uh, um, prayer, requests prayer requests that have come in. And maybe that, we ought to pray for a few people. We have some people from Malaysia, Canada, Texas, Peru, Ohio, Florida, Oklahoma, Guatemala. 
We are so delighted. Tennessee, we're so delighted when you do send in your prayer requests because we do pray yeah. for them by name. Yes, we do. And we, we call them out individually and, and lay hands and that's pray right. over them. And through the television screen uh, or the camera right now, we can send that same word that Jesus did. Hallelujah. And you can feel that power go right into your body and into your situation. Amen. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to stretch your hands as we stretch our hands towards you. I want you to stretch your hands towards us or maybe put uh, your hand upon that place uh, that you need healing or maybe you're needing healing for somebody that you know. Well, just begin yeah. to say their name. <laughs> right now, we stretch our hands Jesus. towards you. We lay our hands, even Brenda, upon these prayer yes, requests Lord. and we declare Jesus in the name of Jesus name. Christ of Nazareth Hallelujah. that we speak the word. We send the word through that, uh, that camera, through that lens right now to your situation and to those of your Jesus loved ones name. and those that need healing. We command now by the stripes of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. We command sickness. We command disease disease. We command infirmity. We command it to come out of your body. And in the name of Jesus now, we send the word by faith. We speak and decree and command the same spirit yes, the that quicken the mortal Jesus. body of Jesus. Quicken your mortal body. Be healed. Rise up strong. And let your ears be open, your yes. eyes be open. Let right that pain now. go from your body. Yes. Let every cyst, every tumor, Jesus every made. cancerous cell be made whole. Yes. And we thank God Almighty that by the stripes of Jesus, you're healed from this moment forward. In fact, I just feel that there's somebody that's had terrible pain in their back, arthritic pain, pain in the knees right now. I just speak to those yes. knees and I you say, will. knees be made well. I send yes. the word of God to you and I say, knees, you line up. Back, you line up. Incurable blood diseases, you, you be. I speak to your blood and I command it to live in the name of Jesus Christ. I say, blood, you live. And I speak to that heart condition. I command Jesus you be made well. Name. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Listen, don't forget, ovm.org, send us your prayer requests, also your testimonies. That's right. Maybe you got a touch from God today. You felt it in your body. You know that those symptoms are gone. Write us. We want to rejoice with you. We love you. And once again, we're Hank and Brenda Kuhneman coming to you with this ministry moment to really concentrate not only on God's Word, but to concentrate on you. It's been a pleasure being with you. And remember, we always delight in giving you the Word of the Lord, but most of all, we're going to take you to a whole new level in God. God bless you. Tune in next time. We love you.